Hi, this is Rebecca Coleman, and uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about how to use Google's keyword tool in order to find what are the really popular things that people are looking for uh, when they come to your blog and how you can give them that content. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing a Google search. It's the World Cup. Yay! <laughs> There's really cool Google doodles every day. Uh, so what you want to do is just come to Google and do a search for Google Keyword, Google Keyword Tool. There it is. Uh, now, what you can do is just click on that. And uh, for some reason, I always get this weird site, which is very strange. Um, and uh, I'm just going to sign in using my Google account. And so here I am inside the Keyword Planner. Now, what this is, essentially, is it's a way for Google to, or a way for you to figure out how, um, which keywords you can use to buy ads on Google. So these would be pay-per-click ads that would show up in the sidebar of Google that would lead people back to your site. And uh, there's lots of different things that you can sort of click on here and find ideas. Um, I usually, I mean, you could use any of these, actually. You could use multiple keyword lists to get new keyword ideas. You could click here to get traffic estimates um, for keywords. Or, I mean, really, you could use any of these. I usually use the second one. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a search for, um, so I'm going to use my cooking blog as an example in this particular uh, exercise. And uh, I, my cooking blog, basically what it does is it shares recipes. Basically every day, every post on my blog is some kind of a recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the word recipe. I'm also put in the word recipes because those two things tend to sort of go together and they both are pretty popular words. Um, now you can change uh, some of the targeting if you want and then I'm just going to click on get search volume. So what it's going to tell me is how many, on average, how many monthly searches happen in Canada for those words recipe and recipes. And as you can see, um, a lot of searches happen for those keywords. Uh, in fact, almost 100,000 earlier in this year. Slightly less as time is going on, but still lots. Now, what we're going to do is, see here you have two different tabs. It says all group ideas, and then there's a second one that says keyword ideas. So I'm just going to click on keyword ideas, and what it's going to give me is it's going to tell me what are the average monthly searches for those keywords. So one really interesting thing that I'm learning already is that the plural of recipe has way more keyword searches than the solo recipe. So when I'm using the word recipe in my blog post, what I might want to do is use the word recipes instead of the word recipe in my blog post because the word recipes gets way more keyword searches than the singular version of that word. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at some, now let's have a look at some other words. What I want to do is I want to get some ideas of what are some other words that are related to the word recipe or recipes. So let's say recipes. What you can do is you can actually put your website in here. Um, and you can say that you belong to food and groceries. And then what you do is, again, after it's finished completing its initial search, what you're going to want to do is, um, so it gives you ideas. And again, you can stay on this tab if you want to. Or what you can do is you can click over here on your keyword ideas again and get an idea of what kinds of recipes are out there that people are doing searches for. So what this information tells us, and this is where it starts to get really interesting, 
What this information tells us is it tells us on average how many monthly searches are happening for each of these search strings, right? So here are the keywords that people use to find this. So chicken recipe, for example, these are all the different keywords that people are typing into Google in order to find chicken recipes. Um, and what you'll see is there is uh, 98,000 keyword searches for chicken recipes every month. Um, and the competition for those words is low. And so that's exactly what you want to look for. You want to look for keywords that are have a high monthly search. So ideally you want to get something that has say 10 or 20,000 average monthly searches. Um, if it has less than 10,000, you're probably not going to want to bother with it. I'm not saying you can't write about that. I'm just saying you want to focus on um, keywords that have 10 or 20,000 searches per month or more. Because what you know is that if people are doing searches that are 10 or 20,000 a month, then you know that that's a topic that people are genuinely interested in. If it's getting that level of searches, then you know that that's something that people are interested in learning about. And so you can fulfill that particular need and write those posts. Um, ideally, also, you want for that the competition on that keyword to be low or medium. If it's high, uh, what that means is that um, a lot of people are... Uh, the competition is high means that there's a lot of people that are buying ads for that particular keyword search, so the chances of you coming up in organic search are much lower. However, if you choose something, something like um, this chicken recipe, for example, is really perfect because it's being searched a lot every month. These particular keywords are being searched a lot every month, uh, in fact, 98,000 times a month. And there's not much competition for that. So what, I'm, what I would then start to do once I uh, have this information, what I would then start to do is I would start to create a spreadsheet. So I have one already that I've made um, in my Google Docs. So this is the Google Doc spreadsheet that I've already created for my, um, for my blog here. Uh, it's just a spreadsheet. It's really simple. And literally what I've done is I've gone through and I've pulled out keywords and then written beside them how many monthly searches are happening per month um, of, of those searches and whether they're medium or low. If they're high, I don't bother to put them in there. And so what this is going to now do, so what I would do is I would come down here and I would go back to my AdWords and look at this. And so this particular uh, keyword is chicken recipes. And what I would do is add to my Google Doc over here, chicken recipes, uh, 98K and low and now what happens is when I'm thinking about creating a new blog post for my blog what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to scroll through and look at all these different keywords that I've saved here what I can now do is say I want to write a recipe about kale what I can do is create my kale recipe but then in my tags and also in all of my search engine optimization stuff, I can make sure that I include this keyword kale recipes because I know that 14,000 people per month are doing a search for kale recipes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that keyword string into my blog post so that those 14,000 people who are looking for kale recipes are going to end up on my blog. And so that's how you do a keyword search and that's how you create um, uh, new blog posts to uh, fill the need of what people are looking for on Google.